One of the most popular features of the Arauco mobile system is the ability to use any network or web-enabled device to take physical counts. Whether it's for a thorough year-end count or intermittent cycle counts, the Arauco mobile system increases both speed and accuracy of the process. To get started, you'll need to have a physical count and a snapshot taken in the back office system. Next, on the handheld device, we'll select the inventory icon on the top menu bar and then select physical count. If we already had counts that had been taken on this device but not sent to the back office, those counts would show up immediately. Since we're doing a new count, we'll start by entering the physical count number. If you don't have that, you can enter in a partial number, like we're doing here, select search, and the system will display a list of those available to choose from. We'll select that one, and a list of snapshots is displayed to choose from. We'll make our selection. Now we're ready to count. There are a few ways you can enter your products. You can start off by scanning an item with your mobile scanner, and that show, brings up the product. You see the product information, a picture, as well as the quantity information. You're automatically returned to the barcode name field to begin entering another item number. To change the quantity counter for a product, we can select the pencil and enter in a count. So we'll say three, save. Rather than entering a count for an item, we can also scan the same item multiple times. So we're just going to delete this entry, press OK, go back to the barcode name field, and we can scan this item as many times as we want. So in this case, scanned it three times rather than entering it three times. In addition to scanning, you can also enter a product code from your device's built-in keyboard. And if you don't have the complete uh, product code, you can also enter a partial product code. And it can be any number of characters within the product code or the product description. In this case, we're going to look up by product code. Again, you see it brings up a list of products. We can select an item from our list, select OK. And this happens to be a, a dimensional product. So we're going to say it's a 30 brown belt and OK and there's our product. We can also look up by product description. So let's say, for example, we have a product in front of us. It doesn't have a barcode. We don't have a product code. We can enter in part of the product's description and do a lookup, and it'll bring up products matching that product description. Again, I can select the product, select OK. Again, a dimensional product. So it's a 32 waist, and it's blue, and OK. In addition to handling standard items and grid items like the jeans and the belt, you can also enter scale items uh, such as produce. So, for example, we've got a product here which are Granny Smith apples. Let's say we have uh, four boxes of 50 pounds, so we've got 200 pounds of apples. Press save. There we go. For serialized items, such as this stereo, it will prompt you to enter serial numbers. And if you enter a serial number, it goes off into the system and in real time checks to ensure that that is a proper serial number. If you enter in a, a serial number that is not in the system, it'll let you know about that. Well, a warning, an audible warning will occur, and you can remove that count from the system or make a change and save it. Once you're done with your count, we can uh, click on the show all uh, switch there and it'll show us all of the products that we have counted. At this point, you'll press the, you can make any changes. You can delete or, or change counts. And once you're satisfied with the count, press the send button, confirm that it's okay. And the system sends the count to the snapshot in the back office database. You get a confirmation message when it's successful, and that's it. You can now continue entering counts for the same uh, snapshot that you'd, uh, you were doing counts for in the first place, or you could switch back, change to a different snapshot. Let's say, for example, you had snapshots by vendor or by uh, area in the store or what have you. You could go off and go and work in a different snapshot.
The counts collected through the Rocco mobile system now show up in the snapshot for the respective physical count within the back office for final processing. So there you go. Easy, fast, simple.